Finally, the Z Fold 6 could inherit some design cues from the Galaxy S24 Ultra, as well as a few unique upgrades. The most notable claim is that the new foldable generation will ditch the aluminum and stainless steel body of the old one and switch to titanium. It makes sense that Samsung would give its foldable flagship the same new material as its non-foldable flagship, even if it could mean a price hike for the Galaxy Z Fold 5. Now let's analyze some facts. The S24 Ultra costs $100 more than the S23 Ultra at launch, and the cost of the titanium body is likely one of the reasons. It is also likely that the Z Fold 6 may also experience a price increase because of its titanium build, maybe by $100 or more. The titanium would go well with the supposed sharpened corners that the Z Fold 6 would receive another unique feature of the Galaxy S Ultra devices. Unfortunately, we're heartbroken to learn that the Z Fold 6 still won't offer a built-in S Pen like the S24 Ultra does. We assume Samsung will continue to sell the S Pen Fold Edition as a separate accessory, but it's unfortunate that the perfect tool to use with the large interior screen of a Z Fold costs more and has to be stored separately from the phone or at best in a space specially designed for this. Case designed for the foldable. For better usability, the Z Fold 6 will reportedly be wider with a larger exterior screen than the Z Fold 5 it replaces. A second leaker, Yojish Bra, claims in replies to Chunin 888's original post, claims that the Z Fold 6 outer and inner screens have aspect ratios of 20 into 9 and 1.08 into 1 respectively, having an outer screen going from 6.2 inches to 6.4 inches. Now check this out. The Galaxy Z Fold line has always had a narrow screen cover, but that wasn't seen as a problem until competing devices like the OnePlus Open and Google Pixel Fold seemed to show it. There was a better alternative. It's good to see Samsung learning from its opposition to the Galaxy Z Fold 6, rather than remaining stubbornly slim with its existing style. Although the Galaxy Z Fold 6 could become wider, it could also become thinner, with a thickness of 11mm when closed compared to the Z Fold 5's 13.4mm thickness. Looking under the hood, the leaked improvements look tasty. Samsung's new foldable is expected to run on the Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 chipset, a logical upgrade over the 8 Gen 2 chip used in the Z Fold 5. Another rumored significant internal change is the battery capacity of 4,600 mAh per hour, which would be an improvement over the Galaxy Z Fold 5. The Galaxy Z Fold 5's capacity of 4,400 mAh per hour hopefully means better battery life. We should still expect the same 50 megapixels main rear camera, 12 megapixels ultra wide, and a 3x 10 megapixels telephoto camera combination on the Z Fold 5, according to Chum 888 and Yojish Bra. But we might also see an improved under display camera on the inner display, which we really hope will make this camera more suitable for taking selfies rather than offering a blurry image that you might use for photos video calls, and nothing else. The Z Fold 6 is expected to arrive in July or August this year, and the Z Flip 6 is also expected to join it. A new, cheaper foldable, or even a triple foldable, could also appear, but we're less sure. Be sure to check our channel for more update on the Z Fold 6 and Z Flip 6 regularly if you want to stay up to date with the latest rumors and see if either has a chance of being one of the best foldable phones you can buy. Once they become available, so let me know in the comments down below what excites you most about the Z Fold 6. Have a great day, and we'll see you down the road. Peace out.